Well, if you want to educate road users and make them aware of the dangers on, on the roads and how to move safely in traffic, it's actually a lifelong process. And if you ask the road users what they think about uh, it's dangerous on the roads in Ukraine, um, they're actually most afraid of uh, drivers who overspeed. But they're also afraid of many other violations of traffic and they say that they see them a lot. Ukrainian road users are actually also very afraid of dying in traffic from a, an accident. There are still a lot of violations in the traffic in Ukraine and a lot of crashes happen, so there's a lot still to do. So what can you do? Well, it's a lifelong process. You need actually to start when the children are very small, you need to start uh, educating them in kindergarten and in the schools and for the parents to be role models for them. And then you also need to take it on to the driving schools for the young people to learn risk-oriented uh, behavior. When you do awareness campaigns, um, it should be done in the way that the campaign that has just been implemented on speeding has been done. It needs to be part of a long-term strategy it needs to be and you need to take all stakeholders on board uh, it needs to be done nationally and uh, it takes time that's the main message it takes many years uh, but when you spend all those years it's actually worthwhile the effort one leg is the communication and the other one is the other aspects more technical, more engineering aspects. So you have to work on the infrastructure, you have to work on the driver's skills, not only their mind, you have to work on the vehicles, and you have to work on the post-accident medical care. And you have to coordinate all that to manage it together, which is very requiring. And uh, if you do that, through your road safety uh, strategy, through your road safety action plan, you will probably go and see progress 